Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, welcome my dear and please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell because YouTube is doing crazy things and I know uh, if you don't hit the bell you will not be notified about new videos coming up. Also follow me on Instagram where we have a lot of fun as well. Okay guys, so this is a highly, highly requested video. Um, I don't know why I postponed doing it for so long because it's an easy peasy thing to do, but here it is today. So as you can see from the title, I'm gonna show you how the queen of overspraying actually oversprays. So um, this is gonna be all the tips and tricks that I do and use throughout the years of me wearing perfume. So basically since I was like 11 um, and this is how I make my perfumes last longer. Of course this will vary slightly but really very slightly uh, between the perfumes. So if I have something very very faint, very um, you know just airy fairy, something that I know would not last as long, such as Guerlain Aqua Liguria. I will probably double up on what I do, uh, <laughs> uh, which is gonna be a lot. However, I genuinely feel like I really wanna smell and I want everyone to smell me. Uh, of course, I don't wanna overkill people, but I still do. So if you wanna overkill people too, then keep on watching. Okay, so first thing I need to mention is that please don't hate me in the comments. This is basically what I do uh, when I apply fragrances and I like doing it. So uh, if you have issues with your fragrances lasting not as long as you want, you will probably want to use my steps. So uh, first thing I need to mention is that I shower twice a day and I wash my hair every other day. So there's like a two days gap between me washing my hair. Uh, and that's important because, um, you know, uh, with me overspraying so much, I will probably be causing some trouble for my skin um, lingering the fragrance. But since I shower very often, and I also wash my hair quite often as well. Uh, you know, I just wash it all off if I wanna change my fragrance. So what I do, I actually have a perfume here and I also have a outerwear garment for you to show you what I do with outerwear because this is also very important, especially that we are coming into winter. I mean, you guys mostly are coming into winter because I have summertime. And what better time to pull out my neon nails? Um, yeah, tell me if you like it. It's actually a Polish brand and this is gel. Um, so I will link it down below if you guys are interested because you always ask me. So I just want to put it out there. Okay, anyways, enough rambling. I'm just going to show you. I'm not wearing anything right now. I'm going to show you what I do, how I apply my fragrance. So let's get it cracking. So here I have just a bottle of Dolce Garden. It doesn't really matter what perfume it would be. I just grabbed it because it was on the counter. So uh, I do apply fragrance in those main spots that people usually tell you you should apply your fragrance in there because it will last longer. There are bigger veins so it will you know project the heat which will heat up the perfume oil etc etc. So uh, the basics is here so I put the perfume right here um right in here on my neck and I do it twice so one two so it goes behind the ear and also this neck area I never put my fragrance in here because you know uh, our neck cannot handle uh, what our face can so no Botox no nothing <laughs> um, so this will age very quickly so do not put alcohol in here so okay we have two sprays on this side now we're doing two sprays on that side so our neck is complete now what I do, I spray my neck in the back, but I kind of go on the back as well. You know what I mean? Like I do it like this and I also do two sprays. All right, I hope it makes sense. So that's my whole neck area. So however I move, people will catch on to fragrances and I notice that I catch on to my fragrance from this part the most as well. So that's the neck. Now what I do, <laughs> I'm gonna, get up close here, uh, I actually spray the fragrance between my boobs. 
<laughs> I'm sorry guys, it's just so funny to do it on camera. Okay, so I put my fragrance right here where the collarbone is, not the collarbone, the, the bridge bone is. So I put two or even three sprays in here because this is the part that I don't really care about getting old, if you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, this is where I spray the fragrance so it projects from here. Uh, and this is what I do on the bare skin when I get out of the shower, if you know what I mean. Okay, now I also spray two sprays on my shoulder right here and on my shoulder right here. So we have two sprays from both sides right here, all right? And uh, I would usually do it on my bare skin again when I get out of the shower before I dress up, but I also do it on my clothes because I always put my clothes in the wash after I wear them one day, so it washes off. Okay, another places when it comes to spraying my perfume is my arm. So I will do it in the usual spot, which is here. And again, I do two sprays, guys. I do two sprays there here. So these are two sprays in my elbow socket. <laughs> but what I also do, and this is very important, and this is how my smell really lingers and I again do it when I get out of the shower but also uh, when I already wear my clothes and here is a side note of course guys if I wear something white and I want to use a fragrance that I know can stain my perfume my uh, garments I will not do that but let's say I'm wearing something like this which is you know like a silky thingy um, it will not transfer the color so I don't care about that I'll go ahead and spray it again right here but what i also do i like spraying my whole arm so i'll do one two three again and again one two three now this is it basically when it comes to my arms and my upper part of the body i do not really put fragrance right here first of all my skin is quite dry i wash my hands frequently it will come off immediately but also you know i just don't want to dry out my skin even more so it just doesn't make sense what's very important though when i apply my fragrance i hope i'm not speaking too fast what is uh, really important when I apply my fragrance as well, if I am wearing a t-shirt, something, you know, short sleeved, I will also apply my fragrance right here in this area. And that's mainly because uh, you have some hair there. I mean, most of us do. I do, some, I do also have some peach fuzz in here. So basically the fragrance will adhere to that part easier. So I will do maybe not three, but at least two sprays in this area so let's go ahead and one two yeah i think that's enough so okay so these are my arms and my neck now uh, when it comes to my hair i'm really into spraying my perfumes in my hair i'll be honest but as you guys know in my last video i told you that my hair is getting quite dry so I really tried not to do it, but actually my mother-in-law gave, gave me a beautiful tip, which I actually use at the moment, uh, at least until my hair gets very moist again. And this is, I just spray my uh, the perfume right in the air, but not like onto the clothing. I literally spray it in the back of my head and let it fall down. So... This is because alcohol will evaporate immediately, so it starts evaporating in the air already. So, you know, uh, only the perfume oils are going into the hair. So this is what I do. What I used to do, I would just spray all over my head and my hairline, like everywhere. I would even lift up my hair like this and go here like that. I don't do it anymore just because, simply because um, I don't want to over dry my hair once again. But this is basically what I do to make my scent last really long and project so, so well. And uh, this is the main reason why I don't have that many problems with projection. I just overspray heavily. Uh, the only thing I do not do, I don't spray my hair down there. I mean, <laughs> it, just, it sounded so bad. Scratch that. Down there, I mean, uh, between my uh, legs, you know, like, no, 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 scratch that. It was terrible, guys. I mean, behind my knees, okay? That's what I mean. <laughs> okay. Please don't quote.
quote me on that. I don't spray my perfume behind my knees. That's what I meant by down there. Okay. Okay. I hope you get me. All right. So this is basically what I do. Uh, I uh, do the same process on my bare skin as well as I do the same things when I wear my garments already. So it's a doubled up spraying of my skin and of my clothes. I know it's a lot, but this is basically what I do when I know the fragrance will not perform as great as I would like to. So this is my basic thing, uh, especially when I go out, when I would go out part partying, this is what I would do. And I can be sure that my fragrance stays put no matter what the usual longevity of it is, it will still project because we have it in our usual spots where the veins are, but we also have it all over our arms and right here on the chest. So, you know, thanks to that, our fragrance will stay put. I can promise you that, guys. Just try it out. I can promise you this will work. All right. Okay. Now when it comes to winter garments, I don't have that much of a wintery things here, but I have like a normal uh, oversized jacket from Zara. So I'm just going to show you how I spray my fragrance uh, on my garments. And again, I, I'm not a person who cares too much about fragrances mixing because I truly believe that if you spray something new, you know, another day, it will still project more than something that's been on your garment for a week. You get what I'm saying? I hope so. <laughs> this is a terrible video, I feel like. <laughs> okay, so here we have our jacket. So what I do with my jacket or um, with my clothes like wool sweaters, um, wool coats, cashmere coats, whatever it is, when I know that the fragrance will not transfer any color, I will spray it before I wear it, okay? And this is a very important thing. It's before I wear it. Uh, this way, I just don't like go over my body trying to spray it in the right places. You know what I mean? So again, what I do with the jacket, I spray it actually on the breast area. So one, two, one, two. I also spray the colors if uh, a jacket has a color. So here we have it, but just once on each side. And again, I will spray the sleeves. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And this is basically what I do. I don't need anything more. Uh, and this way you can be sure that everybody's gonna smell you. Uh, again, same thing applies to if you have a scarf, I would just, you know, before I wear it, I would just spread the scarf, um, you know, so I have the full length of it and I would just spray it all throughout. That's what I do, guys. I don't know if this is helpful. I really hope it is. Um, <laughs> I know that um, some people might say I am a terrible overspray. I'm paranoid or anything. Please don't hate me. This is basically what I do. And uh, it really works. And, you know, if the fragrance is not as strong, it will not be an overkill. If the fragrance is super strong, I will probably skip one process which is I will either do only the spraying on the clothes or only on the body. Usually I would choose the body before I put my clothes on but to be completely honest I always do it with any fragrance I wear. If it's Baccarat Rouge, if it's Oud Satin Oud, if it's Shahav Oud, okay maybe with Shahav Oud I will skip a few sprays here and there but in general this is how I apply my fragrance and guys <laughs> That's it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I know I had some funny language throughout, which I'm sorry for. I didn't mean any harm. <laughs> and um, thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.